Joni, I'm so glad we have a chance to talk and talk about the Breast Show. We're really blessed to have you be our big sponsor with CSNN, standing yes. for Canadian School of Natural Nutrition. Nutrition. Could be a tongue twister. It can be. Yeah, yes. so I just want to know more about the school, more about how you got involved, mm -hmm. your background, and uh, give our listeners some kind of idea of the background of the school. How I got involved, you know my history, obviously. You've, we, you and I have had this discussion many times, but yes. my background is that um, I have such a strong family history of cancer, and especially breast cancer, unfortunately. So for me, it's it's super important to, to prevent that, and I take great lengths in order to prevent that, and, and you know all the things that I do to prevent that, and uh, dietary, lifestyle changes, um, even supplements, and, and multiple things, but nowadays, education is key and oh. if you don't know what's out there you don't know what's available you're kind of in the dark right because there's there's so much misleading information so much um misdirected information out there and sometimes you just don't know where to look so were you approached for the school or you searched it out no i actually uh met a friend um i was working at a health food store and i met someone who was taking the program uh, this was in Stratford when I lived in Stratford and she was taking the program and I was looking at the documents that she was taking and I was like wow this is this is phenomenal like this stuff is is amazing and I I couldn't believe all the stuff she was learning and how she was applying it to real clients and people who were coming into the store and they were getting phenomenal results and coming back to thank her so it really made me interested I ended up taking the school myself um, this was probably early 2000s like it was quite a bit of time ago, yes. yeah. um, probably 15, 16 years ago. And then I took the program myself, graduated, practiced for a couple of years as an RHN, which is a registered holistic nutritionist, and then decided that uh, I really wanted to reach more people. I really wanted to get the word out more than what I felt I was able to do just practicing alone. So I wanted, I approached the school and I asked them if I could open up something in London. Um, there's nothing in London for that sort of thing and in fact, as far as uh, holistic nutrition goes, there's nothing from Windsor to Toronto, really. Toronto, GTA, Mississauga area is the closest that there is. So a lot of people who were interested in this um, aspect or this avenue of health and healing, they would either have to go to Toronto, which is unreasonable for a lot of people. And so I said, you know, we, we need this spot in London. London is a health mecca. Um, it's forefront in a lot of uh, medical discoveries and it's forefront in a lot of health and holistic healing discoveries. So I wanted to be there and I wanted to be right in the center of all that and they eventually agreed. At first they didn't want to. I think they thought it was too small of a place compared to the GTA in Toronto. Uh, but they ended up letting me do it and we've been there for almost 10 years now. So your numbers have grown in the past yes. decade? Yes. Yeah, I from mean, I mean a I few students or oh, well I started out my first class uh, was I think 12 or 13 people which as I'm, I was told was a lot in most schools when they first open they only have maybe five or six students so I ended up with 12 or 13 nice. um, which was good and I was really happy with that and then now through the years now I have four to five different classes running at a time. Fantastic. Um, yeah, and they are amazing. Like I have such amazing students that are so well versed in so many aspects of uh, healing and health. Whether they're going to use it personally or professionally, right? right? Yeah, and I have a mix of that. That's a huge point because if you look at the last decade, things aren't getting any better. In fact, no. they're getting more toxic and stressful. Yes. Everyone, absolutely everyone, should foundationally take this course, the basic foundation oh, yeah. of health. And I do have people who take it just for themselves, yeah. just for their own family, for their own healing. They have a lot of uh, family history of diseases yeah. and illnesses, or they have a child with an allergy, or, I mean, everyone knows someone in their family who is suffering from some sort of Ill illness or ailment at this point um, and even cancer I mean the rates are phenomenally high now so uh, I have people taking it only for their personal health and then just people knowing that they want to help people they want to be able to reach people in multiple aspects of their life it, and what we do is we teach people to do that um, we don't just deal with nutrition I mean obviously that's the core of what we do it's the foundation of what we do but we also look at stress we lo also look at the body, mind, spirit aspect, which you know is yes. a key link, right? For, for cancer and breast cancer especially. Well, I do the bowel lecture yeah. at the school, have yes. for years, 
And literally, you can't do a lecture without mentioning emotional energetic component. Yes. It's it's redundant if yeah. you're just focusing on the physical. So I love that part of yes. the school. Yeah, I mean it's it's scientifically proven. We are energy. Our bodies have energy. And if you, you mess up that energy through either negative thinking or through um, just stressful experiences in your life and you're taking things um, too seriously or too harshly, um, it can really affect how not going to get the results. Yeah, it, and it doesn't matter if you're eating perfectly. At exactly. That point. Yeah. Twenty steps backwards. Yes. No doubt about it. Yes. So your curriculum, and what does it entail? So there are people from the community, experts in their own little yes. niche that speak and and, yep. and teach and dialogue with the students. All my instructors are RHNs who yeah. have practiced in the field for many years. Um, we also have other people who are specialized in certain modalities and certain training who teach particular courses. So I have like chiropractors and naturopaths who sometimes teach my science courses because they have more in-depth knowledge. Mm -hmm. And then we have practicums and workshops and stuff where we have specialized people like yourself come in who have more experience and you have the experience in the nursing field and in the um, past with the um, hydrotherapy. Yeah. So I have you come in and talk about that and then the breast health and all of that because it's so, it's interrelated, right? Yes. It's interconnected. So we have experts come in and do that. Um, and yeah, they, they all are so, my instructors are amazing, right? I mean, I wouldn't be anywhere without my instructors because they're kind of, you know, the bones of the school. Yeah. They, they are directly with the students all the time and they're helping them and aiding them and they just love sharing their knowledge and what they've learned and with, with clinical practice, how they've learned things. And It's not like there is a restricted curriculum that has to be followed right. it really allows for the personal touch because we've all had different experiences oh, for sure and we want to share with the students and right. pay it forward right yeah and if it was as simple as saying you know, eating healthy will make you healthy well it's not right, right? because we've already proven <laughs> that i mean if that right. were the case we'd all be healthy we yes. just go oh well let me eat some more broccoli and that will make me healthy exactly it doesn't work that way it's very individualized so the program is always fluctuating um, practicums that the ones that you teach um, they're always fluctuating as well with the times and how things are moving and what what's happening in nutrition and what's happening in health and the, the evolution yeah. of natural medicine oh it's, it's happening. happening every day I know yes. it's hard to keep up with it's it, really. hard to keep up tell me why you jumped on board quickly and really made the statement to support the breast show in town um, mainly because it's the core of you know what we do preventive health I think is the key to all future health um, just like what we were talking about, you know, if you don't have the nutrition down, if you don't have the, the mental aspect down, if you don't know what you're, you know, looking out for, if you don't know your family's history, um, if you're not aware of your own body and the signs and symptoms that your body's giving you, then you're at a disadvantage. Exactly. Because once something happens to you, once something comes to you, you're you're kind of at a disadvantage to try and fight back your health. Well, and it's just point. as bad as the mainstream mindset. Instead of a quick pill fix, right. you're looking at a supplement fix. Yes. And you're doing none of the other no. work. Yeah. Take self-discipline. Yes, it does take correcting it in a lifestyle, which Absolutely. includes the mental aspect, the dietary aspect, the physical aspect, you know, getting outside and getting more exercise. So all of those things are addressed and um, all of those things need to be addressed in order for that to be corrected. And what your show is all about is preventing health or preventing uh, breast cancer and uh, preventative health care as a whole. Exactly. Um, and which is what we're all about. And, and because of me and my history um, and family history with breast cancer, um, my own personal struggles and stuff with what I've de dealt with, you know, through my 20s and 30s even, um, I really felt like it was important that I needed to be a part of it because I know what these people, the, you, the speakers that you have, they're, um, how they're becoming forefronts in this industry. Absolutely. And they're becoming powerhouse figures and authorities on breast cancer. Um, and empowered enough to speak forthright about the natural preventative model versus yes. mainstream only will prevail. I right. love that they're coming out of the box. Yes, and they're not afraid to. They're not afraid. They're not afraid. And they're no. showing scientific studies and things that have been done and, and, and basically saying like, You've been told this, but there's another way. And yeah. these things are just as effective, if not more effective. Well, you're right? a great leader for the school. Thank you you represent the shift in a very positive and proactive way. And I think it's um, very fitting that you are a sponsor for the Breast Show. Mm -hmm. And also, we love having and honoring your students mm -hmm. coming to our Hot Talk lecture series as well. Yes. We're giving back to the community, and we want to pay it forward and get people educated. As I say, everyone should actually be um, taking this course for that foundational component yeah. of 
food instead of running to pay for supplements and lots of other yeah. things. Because quick fix is just still a quick fix. Yeah. So whether it's a medication, whether it's a supplement, it's not going to fix your problem. You need to be aware of your symptoms. You need to be aware of how your body's responding to things. And you need to speak to somebody who knows what they're talking about. Okay, to speak to you, to speak to the school and get mm -hmm. give us your information. We want website, how to get a hold of you. All right, so we are located now. We've moved a couple years ago to 747 Hyde Park Road, which is in, Ox in Oak Ridge, sorry, right at the corner of Hyde Park in Oxford. Um, our telephone number is 936-1610. And our website is www.csnnlondon.ca. Wonderful. And I know all of the individuals in my life, and there are many, that have taken training at your school. They always say to me, it's true to my heart. It's yes. my first moment of opening that door, and it was um, pivotal in what they're doing um, moving forward. So yes. thank you, Joni. Joni Youngblood, Canadian School of Natural Nutrition.